This is From the Vault with your host, Hugh Thomas. Editorial comments by Fat Stan and annoying guilt trip shaming by Dr. Farskin. Here's Hugh Thomas. All right, thank you, and uh, thank you, Johnny Dilbert. First off, we apologize for the little snippet of porn that snuck into the previous episode. So we're going to get Dr. Foreskin to join us now to make an official apology. Okay, go ahead, Dr. Foreskin. Oh, okay. I'm sorry that Mr. Thomas's computer has porn on it. Wait, what? Well, it was in my computer. But, but you were the one that went to the porn site on my computer. Well, maybe your computer is evil and we should destroy it so as not to offend any more viewers in the future. Okay, I can see. This is getting nowhere. So goodbye, Dr. Foreskin. Okay, I will look into the best way to destroy your computer. Bye. All right, uh, as you know, in the previous episode, we had Fat Stan do his From the Gut segment without cussing to see if it would attract more viewers. But since Dr. Foreskin let the snippet of porn in, we're not sure if the increased number of views were from less cussing or more porn. So, anyway, here's Fat Stan with From the Gut. Go ahead, Fatty. Well... I got, I got nothing today because I thought that we weren't going to be on the air because of the dipshit Dr. Foreskin porn shit. So I was just sitting here, I was reading this book, let's see, this book here from 19, 1965. Let me read you something from this, and then we can discuss it, okay? Let me read this line. I reached for her. She came to me. She smelled as clean and alive as a newly mowed lawn. Yes, he says she smelled like a newly mowed lawn. Can the, that's wonderful, but all the chicks I've ever been with seem to smell like a rotting compost bin. So, I don't think this is true. I think this is fucking bullshit. All right. Uh, thank you, Fat Stan. I'm Hugh Thomas, and this is from the vault number 54. The year is 1988. The women in drag have released three cassettes, the last one being released in late 1986. Sometime in 1987, due to the lack of funds, Tom Hughes and Mike Arjanis could no longer pay rent on the warehouse space, so the band Women in Drag pretty much stopped recording. However, around the same time, Tom found out a guy he was working with was a drummer. His name is Nick Schmader. Nick had a house and had turned his garage into a soundproof jam room. Nick invited Tom over to jam, and Tom brought Mike Argianis with him. Nick, Tom, and Mike would get together and jam a few times each week. This went on for several months. However, Tom felt this really wasn't going to turn into a band that was going to do much more than just get together and jam, and he said that was fine. Tom started recording the jam sessions. He'd take his Fostex X15 4-track recorder and some microphones and just record them live without any overdubs. On March 5th, 1988, Tom and Mike brought Jim Arjanis with them so he could add some vocals to some of the songs they were working on. And by chance, when I was going through the storage vault, I came across the cassette of this session. Tom said the working name for the band was The SWAT Team. To this day, Tom still thinks that's a pretty cheesy name. Anyway, from March 5th, 1988, live with no overdubs, here's the song Reprotech. Yeah. 
from the vault is a Grillcloth Records presentation. <laughs> <laughs>